I am Dr. Shajid and you are watching my YouTube channel. Now this challenging case was solved by many viewers correctly that it's a case of proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This 50 years old male patient driver by profession presented to me for decrease of vision for far and near both eyes. I thought he is pressed biopic so definitely there will be decreased near vision and as he is diabetic so he may have diabetic cataract or refractive error which is more prevalent. He told me that he is diabetic for the last 10 years and taking medications on and off. When I checked his best corrected visual equity was 636 both eyes and there were no diabetic uh, significant lenticular changes uh, uh, intraocular pressure was normal um, so i dilated him and got this fungus picture of uh, bilateral proliferative disease and he is an active driver to so just imagine uh, and he when i asked him about uh, the last uh, fasting uh, blood sugar uh, checkup um, so he didn't remember exactly that how many months back he had his fasting now that, that's an extremely sad state of affairs of uh, every other patient uh, in our uh, society where there is a lot of stress uh, for providing uh, basic necessities of life uh, for families uh, and uh, we all know how much sensitive his uh, profession uh, driving is uh, so i told him with a heavy heart that you have to quit uh, driving because uh, your vision is uh, extremely decreased and you need uh, to have a strict glycemic control you have to see the physician uh, you have to perform um, you have to check your uh, blood uh, glucose level regularly and uh, you have to treat your diabetic retinopathy and you have to see your uh, lipid profile and your uh, renal function tests uh, nephropathy as well so Whenever uh, you confirm uh, that a patient is having a diabetic retinopathy, then you have to distinguish whether uh, he is uh, in which major stage, whether uh, he is in a non-proliferative stage or proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And in this video, I would like to tell you that uh, how the changes uh, progress uh, in diabetic retinopathy, why diabetic retinopathy occurs. So in this patient we can see new vessels uh, on the larger uh, vessels, uh, temporal vessels uh, below the disc uh, and vitreous uh, hemorrhages, uh, lot of vitreous hemorrhages along with the fibrovascular traction bands uh, along the arcades uh, but they are not uh, causing tractional retinal detachment at the moment. So that's a confirm uh, proliferative stage of diabetic retinopathy always look for uh, new vessels on the disc and iris as well when you find nves now all the problems uh, in diabetes is due to diabetic microangiopathy of the retinal vasculature first of all loss of pericytes lead to microaneurysms formation then capillary leakage start to occur that leads to the extravasation of fluid uh, in the extracellular space uh, leading to diabetic maculopathy and gradual loss of vision occurs further deterioration of uh, diabetic retinopathy changes lead to capillary occlusions occlusion of the capillaries lead to retinal ischemia Ischemic retina releases uh, vascular endothelial growth factors uh, that ask for more vessels uh, because there is less oxygen supply so that lead to new vessels formation. Now these are the fragile leaky abnormal vessels uh, that grow towards the vitreous uh, and they often lead to vitreous hemorrhages when the fibrous component 
contracts so that lead to tractional retinal detachment further worsening ischemia and vision now that ischemia from the posterior segment then creep anteriorly and lead to new vascular glaucoma so this patient is having pdr both eyes along with diabetic maculopathy oct will confirm the diabetic uh, maculopathy and he will require uh, anti vegf injections for diabetic maculopathy and he needs aggressive extensive pan retinal photo coagulation uh, to burn the peripheral retina to decrease uh, the retinal ischemia the oxygen demand of the retina and he will have to change occupation from driving because after extensive prp his peripheral and night vision will be limited uh, so there will be a risk uh, while driving uh, professionally so that was a case of bilateral uh, proliferative diabetic retinopathy as a challenging case uh, and i thought i should share that how the changes progress in diabetic retinopathy thank you very much